does it mean that I have to learn machine learning? All right. So, or I should be just sitting there and, you know, fear of something that is going to happen, right? That since Dr. Lau said there's nothing we can do to them, right? So, I'm going to explain to you why do you need machine learning and why do you need to learn machine learning. Now, let's take a time machine, right, to travel back to 20 years ago. Now, in year 2000, um, we're still happily lining up at Pasamalam to purchase our food for dinner, right, uh, most of the weekdays. But 2019, we don't do that anymore, right? We, we just pick up our phone, use an app, go to Food Panda or grab food and order the food that we want and then you'll be delivered to your doorsteps. Same thing, right? In year 2000, it's just less than 20 years ago, right? We, we still stand by the roadside, use our hand or legs to hail a taxi. But nowadays, we don't do that anymore. Okay, and and things go on. Right? For example, nowadays when you go to a hotel, you don't you don't have to queue up. You don't have to line up uh, at at the front desk counter just to check in. You can just book an Airbnb and go to the place. They will give you the password uh, or even the key card and just need to pick up from the guard house and then you can enter your your room, right? And for the same price, you are able to rent a house, not just a single room in a hotel. And the most obvious one, right, is actually shopping. The like year 2000, you still, you still go to Tesco, Giant to do most of your grocery shopping. But a lot of people, they don't do that now anymore, right? They, they would rather go to Lazada, they would rather go to Shopee. It's, it's easier and you don't have to waste your time queuing. So, in fact, the four most important things that's closely connected to our daily lives today, the food, the transport, the living, and shopping, they are, they are all being um, like disrupted. Yeah, I, 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 I think disrupted is, is the right words for these four aspects. Yeah? Not every single industry is being disrupted yet, but for these four particular areas, it is. And what is the common things among this industry? Right? The, the common thing among this industry is they, they're generating a lot of data. Right? They're using a lot of data to help them to optimize something. Okay, what are they optimizing? For example, Grab, they're using data that they, are, they have collected um, to optimize the customer experience. So like the uh, head of data science, Dr. Kong said, we're able to analyze the travel patterns as well as the preferences and the likes and dislikes of our customers. And with that, we're able to improve our product. So this is what they do with data. In particular, events like Double Eleven, Black Friday, these sort of major events, right? Nobody is able to tell what people are going to buy without the data. So, uh, we always say that data, with, with the right use of data, the platform, the services actually know you better than yourself. So, if you are relying on logistic systems to deliver the goods, right? No matter how good is your logistic team, you will not be able to fulfill that many requests, that many orders within a number of hours. If you look at Cainiao, okay, um, one of the Alibaba initiatives in in uh, logistic, right? Their mission is actually to deliver within China, national, worldwide, uh, in twenty four hours, right? For uh, sorry, for world for nationwide twenty four hours for worldwide is seventy two hours. So how did they actually manage to do it? What is the solution? Okay, so the the key here is. The, the data that they use and they use machine learning to learn the preference of their, their shoppers, of their buyers. So if you look at this, right, they're actually able to map in which particular areas, which particular region of the countries, what are the stores and what are the types of products that they are going to purchase uh, during double eleven. So with that sort of machine learning personalization model, they're able to predict beforehand what type of products people are going to buy so that they can stock up a lot more beforehand for their delivery team to deliver as soon as somebody place the order. Okay, there's no magic, but definitely it is not relying on a faster, better, stronger logistic team because no matter how, how good or how fast is your delivery team, you're unable to deliver from one spot to another spot within 24 hours effectively in a big, common, big country like China. All right? Everything is driven by data. And with a lot of data, right, it gives us the ability to predict and forecast the futures by using something called machine learning. <music>